Hi, Peter from Third Archery and Cup. Today we're going to be looking at um, a top archery black hunter. This is not the Mandarin duck black hunter, this is a top archery black hunter. Uh, got their nice little little brass medallion there. Um, same spec as far as I can gather. Uh, fiberglass and bamboo limbs, 60 inch bow, 15 inch riser, uh, laminated ply, diamond wood, whatever you want to call it. It's for the money, and I think, I think I only paid £59 including shipping and customs. There's not a lot you can buy for that money these days. Um, for a complete bow, the only thing it didn't come with was a locking point. I was really, really surprised about that. Came with the Allen key, came with the, uh, the shelf, which is quite nice. Feels like a, a sort of furry feel to it. Don't know if it's synthetic or not. Okay, uh, there's the, uh, the riser. This is 35, it's, it, it's, yes, maybe 35 or 28. Um, they are incredibly smooth to draw back. There has been loads of videos about the Black Hunter. But I haven't seen any that have speed tested. So I'm going to speed test uh, with a few small selection of arrows. So this is 35 or 28, 15 inch riser. It is six, the riser alone is 663 grams. So there's yeah, a bit of plywood wouldn't weigh that much, so I don't know how to do it, but um, it's well shaped. It's got a big grip. A friend of mine got one, I think a Mandarin Duck one, quite a few years ago, and he converted this to ILF, uh, but he thinned the grip down. And I have to say, I think they could most probably get away with that. It's mostly worth it. Yeah. I can shoot quite a bit. I'm not going to shoot this, I'm not, not going to touch this, but I can see why a lot of people might. It's not bad. It's very, very well finished. Um, the string is, I have no idea what it is. I'm going to say it's mostly a, some sort of Dacron. Um, but there you go. So let's check. Ooh. Check the brace height. Check the brace height first. And the brace height is, I've got it set at just over eight and a quarter. When I first got it, came up at seven and a half. I had to put in, I think, 20 twists because it just really did, well, it didn't like it. Nothing I put through there. It just, it just a lot of vibration. Um, it's still a bit, but that's a, a base tone before I had a real horrible twang. So, I don't say, I've got it up to eight and a quarter. Seems to be okay. Check the poundage at do it this way so you can actually see. Now I'm going to be drawing up to our favourite. So that on the inside of this area is 28. So I'm going to be pulling that two there. And that will give you a 26 and a half, 26 and a quarter is about there. So that should give you a 28. It's quite a thick string. You should hear the, the knocks click. It's a knot. It's a knot. Very, very, very smooth. So I'm going to pull to there. Uh, I go over the 35, you can see, but I suspect not. And it's, according to my scales, it's 32.5. It never ever focuses. Hopefully it will focus. 32.5. 32, whatever. I did pull over a little bit. Let me try one more time. And we'll see if I can get it just to get on. Back on naught. There. Just start to pull it. So hopefully we should get the same reading. 31. So I think it's more than likely 31. Okay. So I've got 31 at 28. As I always say, out of all the bows I've looked at, I think I've only ever, it's all friends bows, I think I've only ever had two or three bows that have actually weighed the same as on my scale as, as written on the bow. So, uh, most of them are out. Oh, right, section of arrows. I'm going to start with the heaviest one.
foot this is going to be 31 at 28 I'm going to be pulling to 28 um, 26 so basically 28 on this one this is 28 in Jarrah um, this to there to the pile I um, 31 at 28 so what's that even if five grains per pound be 175 I think the lightest one I've got is 213 so we're going to be looking at six and a half seven grains up to 12 whatever quite a lot so what did I say this is, this is 500 590 grains it's a 500 spine Try that again. Did not register again. Okay, right. Right, let me go there and shoot lower. Will you? I'm not getting a reading. I'm not getting a reading. Okay, got a reading. 171. Let's try that again. Finish up. Again. If this was uncut, you wouldn't see all this stuff. Just fast forward, and more importantly, the speeds will be in the description. One thirty-four. I was short drawing because I wasn't sure where it was going to ring. Let me try that again. But again, five hundred ninety grain hour. Oh, I give up. That one doesn't want to register. It said 134 at one stage. Right, the next one down will be a 351 grain. 600 spine, victory. 3 4 junior. That original, I've shot the, the arrow slapped each other. That one registered. I don't get it. 161 feet per second. Remember, 31 pound bow, 350 grain arrow. So, 10 and a half. Range per pound, 161 feet per second, 31 pound bow. Right, next one down will be a victory back 106, 800 spine, and this is 279. I'm going to move those out of the way because I'm looks like they're going to get sacked. Okay, 174. So I've got 171 there, but that was full draw. So I've got to squat down a bit. Fair enough. That was 279 grain arrow, 800 spine, 174. Now I've got a 600 spine, that 106. Now it's 256. Hundred 
178 feet per second. So, 600 miles, way too stiff. Again, 31 pound boat. Uh, this will most probably be the one, thousand spine. And this is 213. Another victory VAP. Reset. You heard the vibration, it didn't really like it. Uh, but again, it's, it's a Dacron string. That went 189 feet per second. 31 pound bow, 189 feet per second. I'm trying to shoot those again, just to see what I get. So I'm just going to shoot the uh, the thousand spine because that actually was the right arrow. It didn't like it. Maybe, maybe have to work with brace height a bit more. Uh, might have to put a bit more on it. Might have to get another string for it to be honest. Um, so you've got 800,000, maybe a 900 spine. I really want to try that heavy one and get it to register. It registered the once. Really weird. Right, last chance. It will or it won't. No, it's not doing it. Okay. Alright, so, 800 spine. I'm just going to check these again. <laughs> 176. So I've got 171, 174, 176. So it's around that 175 mark. It's good. A little bit of a kick in it. I'm Still reckon muck around with brace like you'd be alright, possibly change the strings. Um, and oh, I'm actually just looking at the knot now, so I've got yeah, that's I, I still reckon 900 spine. And I've got any of them, I've got 800,000. Let's try that thousand again. So I've had 189 now, 187. You heard it, it doesn't like it. Most probably need a 250, 300, 275, 300 grain arrow, like a heavy 900, which I don't know. So, but that's what I reckon you need. I might try wood, so I might bring it back and try some wood with that. But there you go, that is the top archery, uh, their version of the Black Hunter. Uh, they're very well made, and sh just listen to that 500. It, it, it won't register. But it is the quietest of the bunch. It is the quietest, as I say, this, this is most probably what you need. Still didn't register. Hardly any vibe. Only slightly stiff. So there you go, that's the uh, top archery uh, Black Hunter from Field Archery Uncut.